In this podcast episode, the host speaks with Dr. Benjamin Bickman, a leading metabolic scientist whose research focuses on insulin resistance and its profound implications for health. The conversation delves into various topics, including the effects of insulin on the body, the role of diet in managing insulin levels, and the implications of modern lifestyle choices on metabolic health. Dr. Bickman begins by explaining the concept of insulin resistance, which he describes as a condition where the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. This resistance can lead to a cascade of health issues, including type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and even Alzheimer's disease, which is sometimes referred to as type 3 diabetes. The alarming statistic that 88% of adults in the U.S. exhibit some degree of insulin resistance highlights the urgency of addressing this hidden epidemic. The discussion emphasizes that insulin resistance is not merely a consequence of obesity, it can affect individuals of all body types. Dr. Bickman points out that different ethnicities store fat differently, which can influence the prevalence of insulin resistance across populations. This nuanced understanding challenges the stereotype that only overweight individuals suffer from metabolic disorders, underscoring the need for a broader perspective on health and disease. Dr. Bickman categorizes the pathways to insulin resistance into two distinct lanes, the fast lane and the slow lane. The fast lane includes factors that can induce insulin resistance within hours, such as stress, inflammation, and excessive insulin levels. For instance, stress hormones like cortisol can elevate blood sugar levels, leading to increased insulin production. In contrast, the slow lane involves lifestyle habits and dietary choices that contribute to chronic insulin resistance over time. The fast lane is particularly concerning because it highlights how quickly our bodies can become resistant to insulin due to modern stressors and dietary patterns. However, the slow lane is equally important as it emphasizes the long-term impact of poor dietary choices, such as high carbohydrate intake and low quality foods. Dr. Bickman advocates for a proactive approach to managing insulin levels through dietary changes and lifestyle modifications. To combat insulin resistance effectively, Dr. Bickman introduces the four pillars of insulin management, controlling carbohydrates, prioritizing protein, not fearing fat, and incorporating intermittent fasting. He emphasizes that controlling carbohydrate intake is crucial as refined carbohydrates can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. Instead, he encourages individuals to focus on whole foods, particularly fruits and vegetables, while avoiding processed foods. Prioritizing protein is the second pillar, as it plays a vital role in maintaining muscle mass and promoting satiety. Dr. Bickman stresses the importance of consuming high-quality protein sources, particularly animal-based proteins, which provide essential amino acids. The third pillar, not fearing fat, challenges the outdated notion that dietary fat is inherently harmful. Instead, he argues that healthy fats are essential for overall health and can aid in weight management. Finally, the fourth pillar, intermittent fasting, allows the body to reset insulin levels and promotes metabolic flexibility. The conversation shifts to the ketogenic diet, which has gained popularity for its potential to promote fat loss and improve metabolic health. Dr. Bickman explains that ketosis occurs when the body shifts from burning carbohydrates to burning fat for fuel, leading to the production of ketones. These ketones serve as an alternative energy source for the brain and body, providing numerous benefits, including enhanced cognitive function and increased fat oxidation. Dr. Bickman shares his personal experience with the ketogenic diet, noting that it has helped him maintain energy levels and mental clarity. He emphasizes that individuals can achieve ketosis through dietary changes without the need for extreme calorie restriction. By focusing on healthy fats and moderate protein intake, people can enter a state of ketosis that supports fat loss while preserving muscle mass. Exercise is another critical factor in managing insulin sensitivity, and Dr. Bickman highlights its importance in the overall strategy for metabolic health. He explains that physical activity particularly resistance training, can enhance insulin sensitivity by increasing muscle mass and promoting glucose uptake. Muscle tissue is a significant consumer of glucose, and the more muscle a person has, 
the better their body can manage blood sugar levels. Dr. Bickman encourages individuals to find an exercise routine that they enjoy, as adherence is key to long-term success. Whether it's weightlifting, running, or engaging in recreational sports, the best exercise is the one that fits into a person's lifestyle. He also notes that while aerobic exercise is beneficial, resistance training is particularly effective for improving insulin sensitivity and preserving lean mass. The discussion takes a critical turn as Dr. Bickman addresses the dangers of liposuction, particularly in the context of metabolic health. He explains that while liposuction may provide immediate aesthetic results, it does not address the underlying issues of insulin resistance and fat cell size. Instead of removing fat cells, liposuction merely reduces their number, which can lead to compensatory fat storage in other areas of the body. Dr. Bickman warns that individuals who undergo liposuction without making lifestyle changes may find themselves gaining weight in unhealthy areas, such as the abdomen. This shift can exacerbate insulin resistance and lead to further metabolic complications. He advocates for a more holistic approach to weight management that focuses on sustainable dietary changes and exercise rather than quick fixes. Throughout the conversation, Dr. Bickman emphasizes the connection between insulin resistance and various chronic diseases, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and Alzheimer's disease. He explains that insulin resistance is a common thread linking these conditions, and addressing it can significantly improve overall health outcomes. For example, he notes that Alzheimer's disease is sometimes referred to as type 3 diabetes due to the role of insulin resistance in the brain. Dr. Bickman highlights the importance of recognizing insulin resistance as a systemic issue rather than a localized problem. By understanding the broader implications of insulin resistance, individuals can take proactive steps to improve their metabolic health and reduce their risk of chronic diseases. This perspective encourages a shift away from viewing diseases as isolated conditions and instead recognizing their interconnected nature. The conversation also touches on the topic of artificial sweeteners and their impact on insulin levels. Dr. Bickman explains that while some artificial sweeteners may not have a direct effect on insulin, others can influence metabolic health in unexpected ways. He emphasizes the importance of being mindful of the types of sweeteners consumed and their potential effects on appetite and cravings. Dr. Bickman encourages individuals to choose sweeteners that have minimal impact on insulin levels, such as stevia and monk fruit extract. He cautions against relying on sweeteners that may lead to increased cravings for sugary foods, as this can undermine efforts to manage insulin resistance. By making informed choices about sweeteners, individuals can better support their metabolic health. The discussion also delves into the relationship between gut health and metabolic health. Dr. Bickman explains that a healthy gut microbiome plays a crucial role in regulating insulin sensitivity and overall health. He notes that while some people may worry about the impact of a ketogenic diet on gut health, research suggests that a well-formulated ketogenic diet can support a healthy microbiome. Dr. Bickman emphasizes the importance of consuming a variety of whole foods, including fruits and vegetables, to promote gut health. He also highlights the role of fiber in supporting a diverse microbiome, which can positively influence metabolic health. By prioritizing gut health, individuals can enhance their overall well-being and support their efforts to manage insulin resistance. As the conversation draws to a close, Dr. Bickman reflects on the future of metabolic health and the importance of education and awareness. He emphasizes the need for individuals to take control of their health by understanding the role of insulin and making informed dietary choices. By prioritizing metabolic health, people can reduce their risk of chronic diseases and improve their quality of life. Dr. Bickman expresses hope that more people will become aware of the impact of insulin resistance on their health and take proactive steps to address it. He encourages listeners to embrace the principles of carbohydrate control, protein prioritization, and healthy fat consumption as foundational elements of a sustainable approach to metabolic health. Through education and empowerment, individuals can achieve lasting improvements in their health and well-being.